Hello! It's been a while, as usual. It feels really weird to film um, because today it's the 1st of July and we all know what happened yesterday. And I'm going to record my haul after this and yeah, I have some stuff in there that I'm not, I don't know if I want to show it, but um, I just feel very confused. <laughs> and today is actually a collab with my friend Debbie from Vinyl Beauty. She's always linked down below. Um, she asked me if I want to collab and that's so fun because I have been wanting to ask her for a really long time. But, but since I'm... I've been off for a really long time. I think it's a month since I uploaded my last video. Um, I I haven't wanted to ask anyone because I was afraid they would say no because you know, oh you don't upload that much and you know all that shit. <laughs> uh, but I was so happy that she asked me and I must say that in this video, uh, you probably already know what it's about, but I was actually going to, I was thinking of including a Jeffree Star palette, but this is the first time on my channel that I feel like I can't do that uh, because I don't feel good about it. Uh, and that's the thing that matters to me, how I feel about it. And I don't feel comfortable enough to show um, his products right now. I don't know if that will change, probably not. Um, but that's just how it is right now anyway. So I will not show that. And yeah, that's the first time on my channel. <laughs> so it happens to us all. <laughs> um, yeah, we have picked out 10 I can't remember right now if we said eyeshadow palettes or palettes, but I have picked out eyeshadow palettes and we said that we were going to take 10 eyeshadow palettes that are uh, limited edition or that no longer exist. And I have a lot of palettes that I wanted to, and that we are happy to have, of course. Uh, and I wanted to pick a lot of palettes that I know are limited edition, but they are still available. So I actually decided... Uh, I went rogue, Debbie, <laughs> uh, to only take palettes that I think you can no longer buy. Maybe that's annoying, <laughs> but I think that was more the purpose. Because I would love to show you, for instance, um, uh, Kaleidos VR Neon, uh, but you can still get that, I think. And some of the Melt palettes and... Um, there has been a lot of stuff that has been limited edition, like the Gemini palette. Did I say that? Melt. Uh, but it has come back. So, yeah, I, I, I think I only have palettes that I that is not longer available. And I had trouble picking out 10 because I felt confused. <laughs> uh, but now suddenly I think I have 11. I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9. Vad gör du? Men gun var lille. Ja, ah, gun var liksom under the table. Uh, but I will show you anyway. And this is a two part collab. So I'm sorry, I'm just petting gun var um, So we will do another uh, type of video in this uh, category or what you're gonna call it uh, soon. And if you haven't watched Debbie, you are really missing out. I'm so happy that I got to know her. I think I found her... Was it through... Either it was through Annette or Lisa, because they have made collabs. Um, but she's... I don't know if she has come over a thousand subscribers right now, but if she hasn't, she's very close. So can we please help her so she can... You know get the community tab and so on um and i really want to see her use the palette she has bought for that occasion so go do your thing um she's so kind 
That's what's what I was going to say. I'm so scatterbrained right now. Uh, she's so kind and, you know, she just seems like one of those caring souls that wish harm on no one. Um, I wish I was that kind person. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's also so fun because when I watch her videos, she has done a lot of collection videos uh, the last few months and it's so fun because every time she picks up things and talks about them I almost always say oh I also think that yes I agree I agree and I, then when you have you know when you have written three comments already you just feel like no I can't write a comment for each product you're showing so but we just think alike on a lot of things and we have both have a big collection and some of the things she has in her collection I haven't seen in a lot of other people's collections and she has a very big Urban Decay collection and that is really fun because that was the first brand that you know I took to my heart <laughs> so I have a lot of palettes from them as well um, we don't have the same palettes but a lot of them obviously um, and some palettes I don't have because they never came to Sweden so that happens uh, yeah but I really think you should go watch her and uh, say hi from me and I'm so excited to see what she has chosen and it, like I said this was really hard um, yeah and now I'm thinking about which palette I shouldn't include Can I have 11? Or is that cheating? I don't like cheating. I don't condone cheating. No. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but at first I want to start with a palette that I think if you have been on my channel for a while you, you know that I was going to show this. And this is one of my absolute favorite palettes of all time and it's from a brand that no longer exists and it was limited edition so even if that brand would have existed it, it wouldn't be around and it's also uh, a collab with one of my friends here on YouTube Paulina and it's the blush try Paulina palette I love this freaking palette and um, and I'm just going okay some of these palettes are not used but I clean my palettes so you know I don't like messy palettes or when it looks like they have been used so you know uh, but these have been used I have a real dent in friends I actually have two of these palettes because I'm so afraid that I just want to have one that is not touched um, but the friends shade the friend the friend shades what happened why does that happen the Shade Friends, don't go back and watch that please, uh, The Shade Friends is one of my absolute favorite shades in the world, it's so amazing, it's this um, lime matte green and it's so good, I love it, I love it, uh, and I just love you know, no neutrals, it's green, pink, purple, shimmers, mattes. I love it. It's perfect. Mm, I would have been so sad if I hadn't gotten this, but of course I got it. <laughs> uh, so that's my number one. Maybe I should do like this. Maybe I should take the palettes. Yeah, okay. Then this palette I got a long time after I, you know the rest of the world got it and that was because it wasn't available for me to buy here uh, and I actually bought it when I was in Stockholm uh, because they had it there and it's an Urban Decay palette I think I bought it well now it's a long time ago was it three years ago four years ago and it still performs actually uh, so I didn't buy it when it came out. This is the Urban Decay Electric palette. I love this palette and it's so fun because this is the like all the people that love neutrals. This is the palette that they all love anyway. But now a lot of people have decluttered it because they bought the new Wired palette. I have that also. 
Uh, but yeah, this is how it looks like. It looks like, do you call it that? Watercolor? No. It's called Vattenfärg in Swedish. Do you call it that? Watercolor? No, it doesn't seem right. Well, never mind. Um, this is excellent. Um, and when I got it, I didn't care that there was no real shimmer. I don't like that shade, the silver one, but oh my god, Slow Burn is amazing. And I just love this. I'm so happy I have it. I will never declutter it. If this gets too old for me to use, I will have it as decoration because, you know, it's freaking pretty. But <laughs> yeah, that, that will never happen. Um, I actually have another Urban Decay palette and I have only used that once and it was in a collab with Molly and Linda. And I'm, I'm still happy I got it. I don't know, maybe you can get this in some stores in Sweden because nobody knows what it is, so they don't buy it, but yeah. It's the Urban Decay Game of Thrones palette. I really like Game of Thrones. That's usually not my type of... Um... Ooh, today is the day when I don't remember any words in English. Genre? Genre? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't like fantasy and sci-fi usually. I love, you know, Star Wars and Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones. But generally, I don't like fantasy. Uh, but this is the Game of Thrones palette. And it's, you know, the one where you can do like this. I really love the packaging, you know, as well. And... The palette in itself is here, and when I use it, I really like it. But I don't think a lot of people like this because it's a lot of shimmers. I think there is, is there three mattes? Yep, three mattes. I think some of these are satin, so you can use them, but yeah. I, I just, I love this. I'm so happy I bought it. I wish I would have bought the two brushes um and the lips some of the lipsticks because they were really pretty shades but you know i happy i got the palette and i also have the highlighter palette that doesn't look as pretty as this but yeah if you haven't seen it it doesn't fit into frame that's all it could they have made this better yes but it's okay, and I like that you don't have to have actually this, so you can only have this out. I need to use this more. This is made so you know you can do the neutral crease, because these shades are the neutral ones. And then put a shimmer on the lid. But yeah. Like that. Then... Is it annoying that I don't show you the palettes first? <laughs> but this palette is the first palette I bought from this brand. And for a long time, it was the only one. I didn't know that it was limited edition. This was just the first palette from this brand that I was interested in. Since then, I have bought all of them except one. And that I will show you in my haul. Yeah, it's the Lemonade palette from Dominic Cosmetics. I think this is the only one I don't have left. I have all of them except Latte, do you say it like that in English, uh, latte, the first Latte, <laughs> but I bought this because, you know, they always do like this, you know, they have neutrals and then they have some pretty colors, <laughs> uh, oh, this looks a bit green in my camera, weird, it's yellow, it's really yellow, um, have I used this? No. I actually got this and uh, when I got the package it was smashed, smashed to pieces. Uh, you can find that on my Instagram that is linked down below like one or two years ago. And I could save uh, the pans but not the packaging. And I gave the shades to uh, Angelika Lirmer that actually made, she made a dupe of this palette without having the palette and i said you know i have duplicates of the shades so i gave them to her so she made a video actually comparing the dupe she made with the shades so go watch that she's also linked down below as always 
I really I have not swatched this. I think I've swatched the other one. Sorry. This pink lemonade looks like my type of shade. Yep. Pink with peach in it. Oh yeah, I swatched it in a stupid place. But yeah, I'm so happy I have this. Um doesn't look like it because I haven't used it, but you know, if you've been here, you know. Oh god. Ugh, I look like a mess. I actually have vacation for two weeks because I wanted to finish tidying up my apartment and organizing it. I'm almost done. I have some things left here in the makeup room. And then I have to get rid of all the makeup I have decluttered. It's it's everywhere. Um, and I know I have talked a lot about doing a palette collection uh, video and a collection video overall and it will come but I won't say when because I don't want to stress it and I have other things that need to be done right now um but yeah that was what I was going to say uh so that's that's why I've been away also <laughs> and I don't remember why I said that but yeah let's take this this I hunt down <laughs> Hunted down. Uh, I called Sephora like a million times because they weren't, you know, we are not going to put it away for you. No, okay, uh, then I will call you once every hour, okay? Uh, and this was before this brand was problematic. I don't think it's considered problematic anymore. But yeah, this is the Saint and Sinner palette from Catherine D. I also love the packaging, but. I was so happy to get this and it's one of my favorite palettes from Kat Von D and I have used I have used this. I need to start using my palettes, but that's why I decluttered so I could use my palettes because I think I can see all my palettes now, which feels weird because I had 1800 palettes, then I decluttered like 600 and I don't have a lot of them in my drawers. I have a almost all eyeshadow palettes out but I know this sounds so ridiculous and stupid believe me but it feels like I don't have any <laughs> uh, I was going around looking for palettes and I was like is this all it's something wrong with me but yeah uh, yeah I haven't used this sorry <laughs> it looks like this it's really pretty I like Kat Von D's formula, and this was Kat Von D when this came out. I think I may have used that shadow up there, but and maybe that one, but the mattes have been not been touched anyway. Ah, I just lo I love everything about this palette. So mm. sorry for being weird. Um. Speak here about palettes. Oh my god, have I used any of these palettes? Yes. Yes. I have. I have used like half of them. This is a palette. I don't think I have used this. No. <laughs> uh, when I bought this, I bought this only because I collected these palettes, not because I like the way it looks, but all my friends, even both the ones that love neutrals and the ones that love colors, just oh my god, this palette! And they bought it and I don't have, I haven't heard anyone disliking this palette, but the other way around, always when it's ranking videos, this always comes out on top and I haven't used it. <laughs> and it's the Colourpop Good Sports palette. I'm so happy I have it because it's no longer available but yeah this is what it looks like it's not really like oh my god for me uh, I like the purple you know and the greeny gold and this one is the one that everyone is going freaking crazy about and I understand why it's greenish gold and yeah Colourpop has that thing that when you look at some shades, they don't look special at all. But then when you swatch them, sw swatch them, they look amazing. Look at that shade. 
it doesn't I don't know maybe it doesn't show but it's a brownish orangey whatever I'm not good with colors and it's pink glitter in it oh yeah I need to use this it's it even have a yellow mustard shade I love that Ew. I said don't swatch anything but yeah everyone's talking about this I didn't see the hype but I bought it because I collected the Colourpop palettes I have decluttered Colourpop palettes it's good for me yeah but that one then let's take this one this was the last one I took in but that's because I didn't see this at first so it's going to be 11 palettes okay that's just the way it is this is a palette from, now I'm going to show you right away, Dose of Colors, Snow Angels. I love this format. I love the packaging. I love, you know, I don't love that there is no shimmer in it, but I don't think there is in the other ones either. But I love the thing, you know, the theme of it. And this one I bought because, yeah, there's pinky berries, whatever. There is a berry palette. Uh, and also blues uh, so I was like yeah I'm going to buy that and I I don't think you know oh it's going to be limited edition because sometimes they come back or they are limited edition and they stay forever so uh, this one I have used yay I think I've used this in a video early in my I'm sorry um, in my YouTube days which is not that long ago but I really liked it and I have three other palettes from uh, this small series I have blushing berries marvelous mauves and sassy sienas I have them there that's why uh, but this one I'm really happy I got this is the color story I like the most um, and it's really good <sighs> I've used it yes have I used this No, <laughs> this one I bought because I saw it was out and I thought, you know, yeah, I don't know why I thought that. Or did I? No, I think I bought it right away. This is the second time it's been released and I saw Angelica Nyquist do a video about it. And I'm so happy I got it this time around because it's pretty packaging now. But it's the Sigma Creme de Couture palette. And it's, you know, <laughs> a pastel palette. And I love pastel palettes. And people say this is good. I just, yeah, I have used that shade. <laughs> uh, but I'm so afraid to use it because I love the Creepy Cute and the Pastel Pop. So I'm afraid I will be disappointed. <laughs> but people say it's good. And, you know, you know you have to work with pastels in a certain way so yeah i'm really happy i got it you can't buy it anymore it's tiny uh actually for you know it's really small pants you know us plays are like <clears throat> yeah i've used blue chocolate oh that looks good anyway almond pear 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 you say pear pear uh blueberry cream is this the same they are really similar you know this one and this one do they need to be in here but yeah we're not talking about that like that <laughs> then we have a palette that you can buy the singles now i think but you can't buy it as a palette And that is because the brand doesn't exist anymore or they're rebranded. Oh, it's dirty. And it's the Makeup Monster Cosmetics Dragon Child palette. I bought this just before they rebranded to Menagerie Cosmetics. I have used two shades in this one. People say it, it gets both good and bad reviews. And I don't know. Uh, Menagerie Cosmetics. I love the Wearsong palette. I don't like the Feral palette. So I don't know. 
the other ones I haven't used that much but I don't know what I will think about this but since most people don't like this maybe I will like this I like the color story anyway you know greens grays I love gray purple red it's like a cool tone pretty palette so with gold um, and you know if you want to conquer the world you best have dragons <laughs> from Game of Thrones I guess yeah I just think it's pretty and I love you know the holographic vibe to it <laughs> I understand why they didn't uh, keep it because it doesn't go with maybe dragons could go with menagerie but you know you can buy the individual shades anyway I have heard and these are magnetic so you can take these out that's good now I have two palettes left and yeah let's take this this one I got because I actually like this brand no rephrase I don't like the brand I like the palettes and now mm, we'll see what happens with this shit but uh when i bought this i was really happy about it and i didn't realize it was a limited edition i have used this once and i actually bought one for paulina as well and i know she really likes it and this is the pride palette it's not called that but the one uh, more of a palette they, they released for pride last year 2019 and it's called 25 l lib is it live in color or live in color not live <laughs> hey look at me but yeah it, it's a rainbow palette you know uh, with some topper shades I know is it liberation yeah that Ooh, Paulina likes well I see why <laughs> oh my god I don't, this is good because you know I want to use these more and now I really feel like doing my makeup but I'm going away later so maybe I actually can like, oh god 27 minutes wrap it up that shade I really want to try but yeah I'm happy I got it I didn't realize it was limited edition the new palette has five pressed glitters I think why why I want to <laughs> why and now for the bonus palette and it's the only one I think that you cannot get from this brand right now oh god I'm not bald here by the way it's my it's my hair that's weird um so this brand has a lot of limited edition palettes but I think you can get at least in Sweden you can get all of them except for this palette right now and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills prism palette I have used this a couple of times, but I have only used it. I know I used it in the collab with Mon and Linda, but then I only used one shade, I think. I have never used the shade I bought it for. I'm sorry, I'm not showing you. I bought it for this shade. I'm just, I'm just feeling that it will be bad, and I don't want to be disappointed. I'm not a big fan of Anastasia Beverly Hills formula. I love the Norvina formula um, a lot. And it's a lot better than this according to me or my makeup style or how I apply my makeup. I have a problem with the shimmers. Um, I think that they are getting hard pan easy. You know, subculture for instance. I don't have a problem with the mattes. Yeah, they have a lot of kick up but they perform. And I have the original subculture. Uh, but the shimmers, it, oh my god. Yeah, And this one I can see has hard pan in it. Yeah, that's freaking annoying. Have I not used the matte? Yeah, I've used black matte. Mm, yeah. But yeah, I am happy I got it because it's one of the more interesting color stories. This and subculture, I think. Yeah, so I, I always like the ones that not a lot of people like. Like color story wise, I like this subculture, Riviera and Alyssa Edwards, I think. And that's the ones that no one likes, or the palettes that people declutter, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm weird like that. Maybe I should swatch this. I haven't done that either. This is so. Ooh. It actually looks. Yeah, there it is. 
looks good. Yeah, I, I think that was 11 palettes, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm sorry I cheated, but I think it's okay. And now I have that shimmer everywhere. Oh my god, from the palette. I'm going to record my haul now. And I said to myself the last time, don't do two months at a time. Well, here we are. Um, yeah. But this was really fun to dig out and now I can see, you know, I really want to use some of these palettes and I have organized the palettes in a much better way so I can use them more. Uh, and don't forget to go watch Debbie. I'm so excited to see what she has picked because she has an awesome collection. She's so kind and you will not regret following her. She does so beautiful looks and i know it doesn't matter to me that way but she uh she's a bit older than me uh and i think that's good you know we are not all in the same age <laughs> so if you are a bit older uh and you want great techniques and everything you can go watch her and get inspired uh i know there's a lot going on about oh if you're older you shouldn't wear colorful makeup and that just bullshit <laughs> uh but i think she's really inspiring and kind and good for the <laughs> beauty community that we re need right now and i'm sorry that i'm all over the place i haven't been filming for over a month and this happened and mm, i don't know <laughs> we'll see what happens next uh Thank you for watching and for still being here and for being awesome. Our community is awesome. So, bye!